um, in 2017, mm -hmm. Ebele Obaino embarrassed Bianca Ono inside the governor's lodge in Oka and Amra states. And on that day, Bianca vowed never to return to the governor's lodge. She decided to stay away from the activities of the administration. This uh, inauguration, this um, inauguration of the new administration took place in government house and not governor's lodge. Bianca decided to show up. You know, anybody that is close to um, Governor Ebiano, his wife will be accusing such people of uh, sleeping with her husband. She will call them names. She will, she will call them prostitutes. Just the same way she called the uh, Bianca uh, uh, prostitutes on the day, called her, called her Ashawo. Ashawo means prostitute. So this animosity had been there. Bianca Ono tried to contest for the senatorial uh, seat. That is Anambra South. Ebele Obaino did everything possible to frustrate Bianca. She brought Nicholas uh, Ukachuku to contest against Bianca and the rest of them. In the end, it was uh, uh, Ukachuku that uh, got the nod of the party, but he was well beaten by um, by Uba, that is the chairman of Capital Oil. He's now in the Senate. So Uba won Uba won that election, defeated the candidate of the governor's wife. So she had been um, nursing this animosity against Bianca Ono, actually given the fact that Bianca Ono uh, is well respected as the, the widow of uh, Ike Mbane. And, uh, and this same, the, the, the traditional ruler of Oka Kingdom, recall that he personally took Oba Ino and his wife to Bianca and both of them knelt down for Bianca to bless them and support the governor when the governor was contesting for the uh, governorship of the state. So to come back and humiliate the same person who blessed you and supported you and helped you to win the election was in bad taste. But if you if you had done that to her in the past and you got away with it and she stayed away from mm -hmm. government house, then on the final on the final day. Yeah. On the inauguration of a new administration, I think she reserved the rights to be, to be in attendance. You then went there mm -hmm. and were, you were yeah. calling her names and said, "Shebi, you said you will never be part of our at our events again. What are you doing here?" And then you started wagging a warning finger. You started touching her, and she said, "Please get your hands off me." But she wouldn't do that. She wouldn't stop. She then she tried to touch Bianca on the head. It was at that point that. Uh, Bianca delivered a resounding valedictory dirty slap, which, <laughs> of course, she could not uh, reply because Bianca held on to her wig. So she was more concerned with uh, uh, ensuring that we are, uh, she relieved Bianca of the wig rather than retaliating. So it was effectively 1-0 uh, on the day, and she had no chance of uh, uh, finding an equalizer. So, but uh, whichever way we look at it, it was shameful for two adults, two prominent people to come to blows. Ordinarily, they should have been arrested and put on trial. You know, if, uh, if uh, uh, low lives fought in public, of course, the police will arrest them and take them to their station. But, these ones uh, got away with it, but uh, they should they should know that it's against the law to 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 
to come to blows in public in the way that they have done. And uh, I hope that right. Mrs. Obaino, who wants to contest right. for the Senate, will know that some of her conduct will not take her far. She has to be more responsible. She has to respect people who have helped her husband. And she, she has to also yeah, show respect to her husband. If your husband is at an event and you mm -hmm. can fight at that event, then it means you have no respect, no regard at all uh, for your husband. And if indeed it was also true that she was drunk on the day, then I can advise at this stage can have it and stop going to uh, events already drunk.